Hey everybody, Zane here. And I have Dog here too, but this is Galarian's. Oh, you didn't hear that? Ha ha ha, yeah, funny. No, no, I was beaming my introduction to you via telepathy, but I guess it doesn't work. Not not yet. We All haven't right. had the drugs. We'll work on that. Oh, I need... Oh, okay. I forgot how this game works. I sometimes have a frightening dream. Normal. Administer the Nalcon. Won't that destroy his brain cells and prove fatal? It might, but we must follow the Clinic Chief's orders. Okay, then. Rion! Rion! Who are you? They're coming. They're coming to get me. Why are you calling me? I'm scared. <sighs> I've never heard of such a quick dosage cycle. Me too. I'm afraid it may have destroyed the patient's memory. I'm surprised he's even still alive. I'll go check the data. So after we're done completely tripping balls, we of course forget who we are. Well, that's pretty natural. I mean, after I get a bunch of shit injected into my neck, I can't remember a thing. Oh, totally, totally. Over here, though, we have something that's a bit plot-related. Of course, we can't access it. Why would we be able to? Captain Migraine has a lot of trouble accessing cabinets and pretty much everything in his daily life. Yep, but uh, luckily our sixth sense gives us a bit of a hint on where things are and what, you know, what we may need to get them. That's a pretty cool mechanic. I like that a lot. Yeah, it, it does pertain a lot to, well, uh, how you're going to be solving puzzles, but... Puzzles is a really stretch of the imagination here. It's kind of funny because usually these like survival horror games they don't really integrate gameplay and like story, but here your powers actually kind of work in a relevant way. Yeah, and here we got a lot of information on items that we'll be seeing throughout the game. Um, you could pause them at any time to read some of the backstory on here, but otherwise I'll just mention them when we see them. Long story short, do drugs, children. Oh, totally. Lots of drugs. Uh, I do love shorting out, though. Shorting out is pretty awesome until you get to the end game. I remember that, and I won't spoil it, but I remember um, uh, supplies being very short. <laughs> yeah. First time I played, that happened. And yeah, I don't remember what the last few things do. Oh, I, uh, I remember the basics. Well, the, the ampulator just brings up your AP so you can short out. Oh, and, okay. And skip increases your psychic powers. Okay. So it's a temporary strength boost? It's, it's temporary until you get hit. Oh. Yeah, so... Kind of a pain in the ass to do that. But that's not until, like, way later, right? Oh, we actually get one I not in this power. video, but in this area. There's a couple of them you could find. But, you know, we've solved the first prob uh, puzzle is just by using our psychic ability on that door. Don't know why that door alone will allow us to open it with the psychic abilities, while others' doors you need keys and fuses. Rhea! What am I doing here? How did you get out of your restraints? What was in that shot you gave me? Rion, return to your bed now! 
How did I get this power? Why can I do this? I don't know anything. I just administered the PPECs. What? It's all because of the psychic power enhancement chemicals. Ask Clinic Chief Lem. He knows all about it. Clinic Chief Lem. You think after all that he just stayed away, but no. No, Damn he it. comes after you. You gave me the psychic power enhancement something things. Uh, psychic power enhancement chemicals. Oh, yes. And as you can see, one of the things that really differentiate this from other survival horror games, you know, it's not the tank controls because, dear God, we've got to have those. <laughs> how, about the, how about the very strange walk cycle where you seem to pause after every step just for a brief second? Oh, I know. But, no, the best part about all this is just the fact that, oh, hey, um... You know those things that you need to survive? You're not going to be able to see them anywhere. You're just going to have to check every nook and cranny. No shinies? No shinies. This game is rough. It is, it is. Wait until you see Ash. Ah, oh, I never played that. Oh. It's going to be... It, it's actually <laughs> pretty good. It just has PS2, you know, first edition problems. Oh. Ow, you shoved me over, now I am bleeding. <laughs> and there, uh, just to show off, like, you know, so, these guys are, you know, human, they're not, like, supposed to be bad guys, they care about themselves, but that, that's about the only time you ever actually see an well, interaction. we're gonna kill them people. anyway, because... Well, they are trying to kill us, to be fair. And, well, that is that is a statue of not necessarily a goddess, but we'll find out later. Oh, that's relevant? I don't remember that. Oh, yeah. When, when we get to the end, you'll see. Okay. I'm Rion, and I have lots of emotional distinction. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's... no, the chemicals have taken my emotions. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I just love how detached he sounds and everyone else is like standard survival horror scientist. Everything is amazing. Yeah. Scientific see, though, breakthroughs. Our AP is flashing right now. Um, we're not going to be able to see what's going to happen until this cutscene. Oh yeah, that's right. What the hell are those doctors up to? Well, it looks like the rabbit's out of his cage. Return to your room, and you won't get hurt. Who the fuck has Electro Baton? These guys. Who the fuck is Psychic Powers? <laughs> True. Rion but does. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, hang on. Rion does. I'm very angry now. So what what we've just done is short out. It makes us invincible, kind of, and gives everything around us a one hit kill, kind of. <laughs> it's it's the win button. Yeah. You, luckily, you don't short out unless you try to use your psychic powers. So there <laughs> there is there is that, but you can. Get into a no-win situation. Ah! Yeah. There's literally pretty much a time limit on this game. Is there not? Because I mean, if yeah, you... no. I mean, you constantly gain AP. So if you can't find Dell meters, or if you're fucking around too much, and you run out of Dell meters, well, yeah, literally, Delmator is is the stuff that lets you keep playing the game. And if you run out, eventually you will die. I mean, we haven't taken any actual hits yet, but we've lost, what, our health just yep. after shorting? So I, I should also point out that getting hit does increase your AP as well. <laughs> so getting hit shortens the game even more. Yep. This is my 
face? Who am I? <laughs> How long have I been here? That mirror? Relevant to the plot. Are you serious? <laughs> sort of. I mean, it, sh it shows you... I think that's disc two. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Who is this person in the mirror? It looks like they have more emotion than I. I think this is this all goes down to just uh, early '90s voice acting. I know. <laughs> I like I like to pretend that the that the voice actor was like, "Oh, I gotta really, I gotta really get into this character." My name is Rion. Yeah, because you know, amnesia totally saps all emotional <laughs> connection. <laughs> I have forgotten how to feel. And so we got our B jacked as well as some Malcon. Oh, so now what do you we do can actually re reload. Oh, okay. Well, we don't have a gun, so. Um... Oh no! It, it's a it's an injection gun. So what Malcon is, as you can see, we have that equipped. We, that's what we've been attacking everybody with. Right. It's a, it's a psychic shockwave. <laughs> also called the shove people down attack. Right. Which apparently is very dangerous because they start bleeding profusely after you shove them. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, you know, if you're getting hit by somebody's psychic, like, mind powers, I'm pretty sure it would hurt. Probably? <laughs> you did all these tests and <laughs> all of this... Medical crap on me, and all I can do is shove people. <laughs> Ow, that hurt! My and and to just show Malcon isn't. Oh, gonna be now a one I'm hit dead. Kill. Okay, that was. Ouch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to be a, always a one-hit kill, but we're going to probably be using it. Uh, I would say for the vast majority of enemies. Don't look away. Just because uh, a lot of them are <laughs> red, which. Lights people on fire. No, don't shove me. Oh my god, why? Now, of course, since this is old survival horror, we have the fun thing that is fixed camera angles. So oh, we yeah. have no idea where this next guy is. But if we make enough noise, hopefully he'll <laughs> come into a a good camera angle so we won't get <laughs> What was that noise? Clank, 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 clank. Right? It's like we're Iron Man. <laughs> I have never heard shoes this loud before. Honestly, the uh, and this level reminds me a lot of Parasite Eve 2. Uh, and the footsteps were even, like, louder there, but they were at least a bit more realistic. <laughs> it sounded like you were stomping on the ground every time you were on something metal. I actually never played Parasite Eve... Two. Uh, I, I've, I've had one. But it's one of my two. favorite games on the PS. One. <laughs> I've, I've been told to avoid it like the plague. Well, those people are wrong. It's a pretty fun game. Oh, we gotta go down this hallway because, well, it's gonna be how we advance the plot. <laughs> if we can stop running into a door. <laughs> Oh god, what happened to me last night? I can't even walk straight. Our AP jumped a pretty decent amount after we got hit there. You were just trying so, to yeah. demo that, right? Yeah, total demo. Uh, though I can say for certainty, we're not gonna. It's not about demoing in future things because some of the enemies get really ridiculously hard and tanky. I remember getting a lot of unnecessary hits from, like, the second level on. Yeah. Uh, more more than likely be hit because some guys are just going to be spawning right next to us. I also like that the, uh, <laughs> the scientist is like, This is yeah, really whatever. interesting. <laughs> I, you know, to be fair, I'm not, I'm not quite in touch with the psychic powers, but you'd think you would hear something like that. <laughs> Oh, that's you know, that sound that I heard just now. Okay. I think after this, the top level, 
we're not going to be seeing any more quote unquote civilians. <laughs> yeah, we killed them all. Pretty much. Just to ram it home that these guys are evil. Science! To be fair, if you were able to get, like, psychic powers by via injections, you'd do it. Um... Yeah, I guess so. I mean, I used to get allergy shots once a week. That's kind of like the same thing, right? Totally. Not creepy at all. Akira! Oh, I'm sorry. That's wrong. Yeah. When, yeah, this actually... It does what, kind of feel can, like that. A bit, a bit. But it gets even more convoluted than that. <laughs> I know, really? Like, you don't say. A Japanese <laughs> That's game crazy. Getting, getting convoluted? Even more so than Akira? Amoebas don't build their own bridges. Well, remember that freezer key that we got? Which yes. was totally visible and we knew we can get it? Oh yeah, that was like, was like, like the one thing. <laughs> yeah. I can sense cold air. Is that with our psychic powers or our regular human senses? Um, I want to say a little bit of both. Oh, okay. Sixth Sense also can sense cold. Oh, of course. I mean, no no normal human could sense cold. <laughs> I have sacrificed emotion for the power to sense temperature better. I mean, I mean, if, if people could sense cold, why would they live in Canada? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> exactly. I love this button. It has, it has its own cutscene. <laughs> And you can watch this multiple times the exact same way. Oh, hey, Eyeball. How you doing? It's good to see you again. Yeah. Into this episode, we're going to get a headache. As far as I know, that doesn't do very much anything. Anything. Just to show you, it's, they have a... They have a giant tub of eyeballs and organs, just in case. Just in case, yeah, of course. Rion, you need an eyeball? No? Okay. It's okay, I don't think we have any creepily almond-shaped eyes, so I think you're out of luck. And as far as I, I know, this area, uh, you know, it's been a while, but this area is only used to allow you to get, um, what's the word I was used? To, to get a shortcut. Oh, okay. Which, I, again, you know, considering this is a game where time is against you, good thing. Right. I, yeah, but you probably don't really realize, if it's your first time playing, you really don't realize how important it is to, like, you know, get shit done fast. I mean, and and the thing is, you'll be playing the game, going all through, and then you hit end game, and then you realize you yeah. fucked up bad. Yeah, I, I barely beat the game on my first try. Same. I was. Let, let's just say I was a cast away from from not being able to win. <laughs> No, not the and, drug storage. And of course, you know, you keep li liquid explosives in the drug storage, because why not? Explosives are also drugs. And we're back in this hallway, because, well, this is where the first save room is, and most of them will look almost identical to this. What are the save rooms in this game? They're just literally rooms where you could save, you know, just this, the white lights coming in. Oh, and yeah. Like, no matter what area you're in, it looks like this. Mm-hmm. And it's... Thank you all for joining me.
and I'll see you in the next episode. I can't wait for the next episode.